we move to creating our first main component and that will be a container. So for that, we want to organize it in a containers directory under components. In this directory, we want to create our first container file which we will call main container. Main container because to be the outermost container that we use on all our pages. This will ensure some initial consistent styling on all the pages. So to start this, we'll first bring in React. After this, we'll create a function for the main container. And then we'll export the main container as the default of the file. Now because we are using TypeScript here, we want to tell it exactly what to expect from this function. And this will be a function component. Now this will let TypeScript know that we are expecting a function component from this main container. But as we can see, we have a red line here. This is because we are not returning anything yet which makes this a function component. So to start handling that, let's bring in our styled component. We have to ensure to specify the native version of styled component. Now I want to create a styled component which we will call styled view. This will be based on the view component. For the styling, we first want to give it a flex of 1 so that it can fill the entire screen. After that, we want to give it a pattern of 25 pixels. And also at the top of the view, we want to increase the pattern a bit. And also we want to give it a background color of primary. For this primary color, we'll bring it from our colors. With that done, we can return this in the main container. And now we can see that the error is gone. Now we need to add some more types and properties. But before we proceed, let's go to the app file and import our main container. Now in the return of the app function, we want to replace the view here with the main container. We should see that the background color has changed. Now the styles here become useless, so we can get rid of it. Now to make the container component reusable, it needs to accept properties. We need to tell TypeScript the exact properties that we are expecting. Over here, we use the interface to create a type and we'll call it container props. Now we need this in the main container file, so we have to export this. Now for the container component, the first thing we expect to receive is a child. Since this is a container, we expect it to wrap some content. And the most appropriate type for this is the React node type. So we import React node from React. React node will ensure that text, views, and other components will be accepted as valid children to the component. The next property we can expect to receive is the style property. For this, we need to tell TypeScript that it's a style property and in particular it is referring to our container which is a view so we pass the style prop to the style and then using the angle brackets we pass the view style and this should work as expected now one more thing we need to do is that to make some properties optional we need to add a question mark for example it is not mandatory to provide additional styles for the component so the style here can be made optional now we can go back to the main container file and import our container props now we can specify the type of our props by passing it to the function component using the angle bracket. With that done, we can now take in the props as a function parameter. And then in between the style view, we can target the children property and pass it as a child. Now we have an issue over here, but more on that later. Also, since there is a chance of receiving a style property, we want to target the style property from the props and pass it to the styled view. Now focusing on the error here, on a normal day, this shouldn't be a problem because this is an acceptable way of passing the children property in TypeScript. But this can happen when some particular versions of TypeScript and React meet. So this might or might not happen on your end. So in this case, one of the ways to fix this is to wrap this with a fragment and this should get rid of the error. But once we start doing this, every component that we create, we need to make use of the fragments in it. And this is not the cleanest way of doing things. So we can get rid of this and find another solution. The next solution we have on our hand is to update the version of React in our package.json file. And over here, we see the version 17.0.21. Now we can update this version to a version like 18.0.6. With that done, we need to open a terminal and run npm install or yarn. It's always a good idea to stick to one package manager. And now when we go back to the main container, we see that our line is gone and the error is no more. Now to conclude the container component, we want to add a few styling in relation to the placement of the content of the container. So for instance, if we want the content of our container to start from the top and at the left side, we can leave the styling as it is. But if we want the content of our container to be placed in the middle of the container, we need to add some more styling. So first, to move this to the middle of the container vertically, we use the justify content property and we'll give this a value of center. Now if we want to place this in the middle along the horizontal line, we can apply the align items property. And then our text is completely in the middle. 
and any other content that we pass to the container will appear starting in the middle. Now the next component on our list is a test component. 